to get to work. There he is. Forty-five. Counting your winnings. Friend, it's good to see you. Hold good on. to see you, <laughs> How are you today? Doing good. An outstanding debtor paid off his debt to me. <laughs> I'm a little happier. <laughs> yes. Sunny days ahead. Good for fishing? Need some good coin to... Hmm? Oh, the fishing. Uh, it could be better, but but well, at least we got I got a few fish. You'll have to come and tell me all about it, or two. Go over that way, maybe enjoy the sea. Sounds good to me. Just enjoy when debtor pays off his his debt. It means I get to spend a little bit more at the. At the tavern. <laughs> <clears throat> I am happy for you, my friend. I hope it, the uh, recovery wasn't uh, too painful. One of the simple ones. He knows. He knows better than to try to run and hide. Yeah, smart boy. I will say, I don't have too many who ever give me too much trouble nowadays. I think I think people find it better to just pay up than to deal with the chase. You always get your man, after all. How about it? Not much has been happening over in uh, Bologna. It's been fairly quiet. The only thing of note from them is that the imp there's a lot of fighting happening in the woods nearby. Between who? Between the Imperials and... Uh, um, Robert Baron. The, the robber barons, men. Interesting. <clears throat> that is to be expected, I suppose. Like I said, most things have been quiet over there. Mm. What about in uh, Corano? Instead of on the Corsetto, other hand. That's the one. Instead of on the other hand, had an orc scare the other day. An orc scare. That, 
were seen outside outside the city. They didn't get that close, though, from what I heard. Though, considering that they didn't get close or attack, it could have been a scouting party, but I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Hopefully our people there might be able to find out more, but I told them not to risk themselves considering it's all... Very smart idea. They've been getting bolder and bolder every day, attacking caravans and whatnot. Indeed. That's about what I've got for you now. That's I know it's not a lot, but <clears throat> no, I you know, we did just establish extra contacts. Of course, we need to build trust, I understand. How are they on funds? Do they require any extra money, or are they up and running at this point? I haven't... I think they are running fairly well, if though I will ask them mm. just to be safe. And uh, how about you? After these uh, debts paid off, you must be uh, pretty deep in cash, no? Yes, I managed while on the road the last time, while establishing, I did manage to collect a few, so I will be good for a while. Well. As much as any coin you would give me would be nice, I don't like to carry too much coin around. That is smart. Well, you know, if you ever get into a spot of trouble and you need, a, uh, you know, a little extra coin to get yourself out, you can always come to me. Mm. <clears throat> Anything else today, Kazimir? On your end, oh, There's a few bits and bobs happening everywhere, you know how it is. We're getting closer and closer to figuring out this uh, Capitano situation, though. Which would be good for everyone in town, I think. Less people to shake down the merchants for coin and... Exactly. <clears throat> Though, if uh, any uh, profit comes out of it, I'm sure you'll get your kick too for being a part of it. So look forward to that. Oh, I won't be ashamed if I don't get anything. I'd rather the, the town prosper. Because that means there's just more coin to take from the simple <laughs> people who come and gamble. You are such a noble heart. Yes, I'm here. Is there anything else today, or...? Okay. Uh, no, that is it for now. <laughs> Very good. But then. I will keep my ears open, as always, in case I hear any interesting rumors. Mm. Thank you, Casimir. You are a good man. Well, good in the sense of, you know, what we do. It's important <clears throat> to be a little shady, <laughs> to still be good. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Casimir. You have a good day. Good day as well, friend. Yes, I know. I'm telling Maple. Hey, Maple. Got it. Thank you. Yep.
morning, Sharik. Morning, Vizrin. Oh, hold on. How, How are you? you? Hold on. What? Hmm. Right. Um, mm -hmm. quick question. Sure. I am looking to get my hands on some... I can't remember what it's... it's, it's it dissolves stuff. Dissolvent? D does something... Acid? No. Use it to break down um, rocks. I think it starts with a D. I'm actually blanking on the word for it. <clears throat> I'm not sure what you mean. Sa sanitizer. <laughs> Have you tried talking to um? Oh, sanitizer. Maybe. Uh -huh. I. I want to make flesh powder, and you need rock and something to go with it. It might be sanitizer. I see. I think it is sanitizer. Okay, then, well, then sanitizer. we're going to talk to. Um, <clears throat> it might be a quick climb. Uh, we are going to go talk to O'Shawn if you oh, want to yeah, come with us. I'll tag along. Perfect. Well, in order to get sanitizer, you need raw food, and I happen to have an absolute ton of it. Oh. <clears throat> then it wouldn't be too expensive, would it? Raw food to make sanitizer. <laughs> Well, you okay, Torty? Expensive is <laughs> I need an alcohol, and my throat is itchy. So you know, all in all, great day so far. Mm. It's locked. Uh <clears throat> Let me in. <laughs> So, well, it's locked, so that is either a great sign or a bad sign. They might be in there or not. Oh, that they answers are in the there. question. Oh, shop, how may I help you? Hi, is O'Shawn in there? O'Shawn is still sleeping. Mm, what about Venora? Venora's awake. Wonderful. Can you talk to her about whatever you need to talk about? I don't know if O'Shawn. She might know whatever it on. is. Yeah, she might. Yeah, sure. What? If it's private matters, she won't exactly go blabbing anyway. She's good at this thing. Yeah. You can't come in though. I'm just kidding. Come on. O'Shawn. Hi. Oh. Oh, Miss O'Shawn. I not here this morning. I uh, well, did he uh perhaps <coughs> uh, Ooh, pass? Dragging you back. A uh, pass Why? a uh, oh, right. a vial to you of my blood, perhaps? Do you know yes. about that? Yes, we're supposed to be getting it from you and Vesrin, correct? Oh, well, I already gave my blood yesterday. Osha <laughs> oh, Oshana oh, said that, that he okay, passed that. Be... Oh, he did. Uh, I don't know what the results mm -hmm. meant were then. Have you made yours? Did... Uh, a blood vial? No. Yes, uh, we need one. Go. Oh. Here, here. <sighs> Are you sure that's not going to be a bad idea, considering, um, this whole thing? Mm, it's... that's on your... Which is why I'm doing your... it. And grain on your body or soul, as I would say it, more likely. Alright, now don't slice your thumb on this and put the edge over the file. Don't skimp out now, Tang. What, do you just want me to stab him in the neck? Warm the quickest way. Into the vial. The thumb gets a little colder the longer I don't know what this is. Over, and you can feel the warmth draining away. Your Tazim wanted us to gather people who went to the original place that we all came from wants me to examine y'all's blood. So if you can just yeah. prick your finger and put some in this vial, it would be greatly appreciated. Go. Mm. Yep, set it right there with the other one. It's too bad that we don't have some kind of sticky parchment that we're able to write people's names on. Uh, maybe we St should Sticky parch? You know? 
I I do have. Well, the actually, one I can no, make actually, we could. I got I get camera. Hmm. I just paste. I put camera on the back side of it. it makes it sticky. Oh. That's what you use for Are you stuff. sucking your thumb? I'm stopping the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Like a vampire. What are you a leech? Coppery metallic. What's a vampire? Taste. Something you're familiar with, Kyla. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Is Why do you sound like Marin? <laughs> <laughs> Marin's a vampire? Oh my god, I didn't think oh, I about didn't that. Oh. That explains a lot. That's why they're. Yeah. Well, Miss, Miss they're Torty, as soon as. At night time, they're busy going. <laughs> as, soon as, <laughs> as soon as O'Shawn shows up again, um, I'll, I'll come get you or something <clears> lets me know. <laughs> He didn't write it down mm. as letter, so I don't know what the results were yet. I have three I'm things I need from you, Vanora, uh, when you have the time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what did you need? <laughs> well, um... Two of the things. Uh, one, I wanted to see if you would make a sleeping draught. Uh, I have made this oh. big cage have, and, um, well... I have one so far. I have one made already. Oh, perfect. If we can get it back up, that'd be two. splendid. Okay. Uh, did you need the just one now, or do you want me to just give you both of them when just I get just, just hold on to it. It's basically okay. for um, everyone's All right. whole thing of this Psst. capturing right. Batman thing. Alright, I'll put it in this little barrel here, so I'll keep it separate from the other ones, knowing that it's going to you. Right. Um, other thing is, did um, you get a response? Red and dead and gold, but the red cemetery, gold, they're dead. What? Huh? Red and gold. Oh. oh. Bush murdered. I thought you knew about all the weird stuff around us. Okay, I'll be there immediately. Well, yes, I'll bring help. Why she let her in the because no, somebody is telling her something. No, oh. The forest. The forest. That's where we found you. A, a cemetery. Uh, Tang. Oh. You know where a cemetery is? Oh, Some men in place. Yes, I visited one yesterday. Imperials massacred. Something was near a, 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 a graveyard. Imperials massacred. Somewhere they need help. The only graveyard that Some I know about is Bard Pass Cassetto. Is it there? I... No one, no one left. What? Venara, what? I... No I need to tell you something. I'll get my armor. Oh. This... 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 Tyler, even as you moved out of the shop, the thick smell of herbs and unguents trailed behind you, sliding your armor on quickly. You know that committing to some kind of aggressive action quickly could lead to mistakes. You wonder what kind of preparation should be made in whatever little time you have. If there's something waiting out there, you don't want to be unprepared.
moment as you stop to consider, you also realize one last thing. Mirren is still Mirren. Even if he goes by Vesrin now, there's always going to be Mirindal Thessalor. He's obsessed with the arcane, the magical, the supernatural. You know that if any of that might rest out there in any kind of capacity, he's going to need someone to rein him in one way or another. Additionally, you drop out the panel and pull out one last thing, just in case. You can ask Sif herself. Don't need to tell you if you wish to know. Go herb gathering. <laughs> <sighs> For you, not me. My eyes aren't good right now. It's fine. I'll keep it. I was just saying that out loud to not make us look conspicuous in front of the guard. It's a cover, you dingus. <laughs> like we need a cover. Anything you feel me in, Tang? A little bit. We're a big group like this. Venora got a message. We're going to see if anybody is still alive. <clears throat> Are we expecting combat? Well, let me Possibly. Yeah. Understood. If we're who I believe. Uh, then just do yourself and be ready for just about anything. I usually are. Uh, well, I usually am when I'm around Venora. Do you have any other details about this cemetery? I only know about one. It just said an old abandoned cemetery. <coughs> then I know exactly the one. I know we had a Pass Bellano a little bit. I didn't either. Pass Cassetto. That's the one, sorry, not Bellano. The only one I ever knew of was the ones that Miss Lottie buried <laughs> by the schoolhouse. I didn't know we actually had a cemetery in this province. That's because you don't, or at least they don't anymore. The cemetery looks long abandoned. Mm. Some of the graves actually seem like they were robbed. Tazim and I went this way when we were trying to uh, sell our wares to the mercenaries. Mercenaries? Mercen. Mercenaries. I thought I saw Merc something. I. <laughs> If I'm selling them to them, then probably were mercenaries. Mercenaries. You're not wrong. I saw something that looked akin to it, but we didn't get in close. Please <clears throat> just be wary because the location that it is, it's right next to a dilapidated watchtower. Last time we were there, it was occupied. Last time I traveled this road, we were attacked by orcs as well, so. And actually, recently I've heard that the orcs, well, Corsetto had a close run in with orcs. As in, a group of orcs showed up, looked at the town, and turned around and left. Probably a scouting party, so keep your eyes open. I understand that, but. Try to stay away from the borders of that. 
You realize we left Vesrin and Torty behind, yes? <clears throat> yep. Completely. Yes. Oh, all right, then. Were they meant to be coming? I thought well, they, they said that they were coming. Armor. As you walk past yeah, the mines, you'll see that it's lively as ever, filled with men of both plates and orange colors. They watch you walk past and continue about their day. <clears throat> the less interesting they are, then the better. Do we know what killed these things? It's a two part class. Have a good idea. It's. No, I heard about this. It's, it's the robber baron and the imps. They've been clashing a lot. Huh? Well, apparently it came to an end. Yeah. Y'all knew about this? I heard about it this morning. <sighs> I didn't. did say something about the robber baron's men? I knew they were upping their attacks on each other. I didn't. Obviously, didn't know about this specific attack. I... Forgive me. This seems out of nowhere for them to be attacking Imperials out of nowhere. No, they've been Why clashing. The Imperials have been trying to uh, route out the Robber Baron for a while now. Oh. I... Well, I didn't know the Robber Baron reached this far out, though. Well, we don't know where his actual hideout is, so he could be anywhere. Oh, okay. I... Forgive me, but why do we care about a bunch of Imperials being killed? I'm just worried about it being somebody that Miss Lottie cared about over there. <sighs> She's already been through it. You're gonna want to look out, it's on the left side of the main road. <laughs> Keep an eye out, then. Pass the measures along, because I know that my voice doesn't carry. It's coming ahead on our left. <sighs> you were being metallic, what you'd think you his voice would. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm sorry, Shriek. Your father knows my stance on this. I'm not necessarily one for killing anybody and everybody just because of what they think of us. I'm just here to protect you. <laughs> my political beliefs won't come into... Well, there won't be a compromise here. Yeah. No, we should go past this no, spider. I think we gotta go past that port. I think you said the tower's further out. Ah, there they are. They're fast. Holy fuck, they're fast. Okay. Jesus, they're gonna be tired. This is where we got ambushed by the orcs, so be careful. Uh, it said it was clear of orcs. The force said it was clear of orcs. Like, the, it said the force was quiet in this area. Good. Probably still recovering. <clears throat> That's the previously occupied watchtower. Left up here, right? Up this yeah. Okay. Well then, wait, boss. Hey, you, you too. Know what I, mean. I asked about it, and they said yes. We're just going, and I said okay, all right. <sighs> what the shit? said there's no living things. So why? No, oh, you spooky you cow! You know people screeching. Probably is a bad idea. At least here. Guys, keep it down. Every time we've been in this area, we've been in some sort of combat. Anybody who has dealt with night killers before will smell the res residuals in the air. <sighs> That's not good. Oh, Shit. No, not really. Not really. That's a big puzzle. Oh. Stay close to Venora. <laughs> Man, it smells burning ash <laughs> it's close enough maybe running in directly isn't the best option here no it's not but I think it's too late <sighs> no it's too fast stop <clears throat> body with me from the side yes bodies blood this is the place Venora, look for survivors. Stay with her, I'm gonna loop around a little bit.
Kyler, as you make your way around what appears to be some kind of attack or ambush, every single sense is on high alert. While the rest of the group seems to be inspecting the area, you are watching every angle, every potential approach, making sure to patrol around. You're keeping a keen eye out. But so far, nothing but the wind and the trees. This is right by those mercenaries. They definitely would have heard the gunfire. Tyler, taking a moment to center your senses one more time, you notice one thing. You can hear the birds coming from farther away from the immediate area. They're still gone from wherever this fighting must have occurred. It couldn't have happened too long ago. Otherwise, they would have already come back here by now. Something just past the tree line. Walking through the underbrush and undergrowth, getting your bearings, you can definitely see it. It looks abandoned. Oh, no, it's there. Does he see, like, people moving about, or, like, does it sound quiet? For now, it seems quiet, but you may want to page a DM if you'd like to make a roll. Yes, please. Uh, Bruns, quick question if you're free. Um, Kyla's just <clears throat> having a general look at because he knows the camp is there. Does it seem like there's activity there, or does it sound quiet? It looks the same as always. You recognize the same people we've seen there. I'll even add that it looks like their blades are clean, and half of them aren't even in armor. Understood. Thank you. But you get an inkling in the back of your head. You thought you saw something on the path to the cemetery. Something that tells you to go back and take a second look. Just to be sure. Uh, I did it twice, good ones. Did they not hear the night killers? Or were they expecting it? Strange. nothing around so foot traffic 
rolling. <clears throat> Perception check. With a four, it's hard to make out some of the footprints. A lot of it looks iron shod. But you know enough already that that matches Imperial boots. Rolling. With a nine, however, you do see that one pair of footprints looks different. Light. History check. With a 14, you remember seeing prints like this. It was in Bedaria. Right before you came across elves. It was an elf here. Did you find any tracks, Kyler? I mean, um... Shriek? Sorry, Shriek. Sorry. Most of them are ironclad, so Imperials, they match up. <laughs> We'll have a look at this one. Okay. It's much Maybe lighter elven. than the other ones. Yes. Seems elven to me. <laughs> uh, that answers our question. They were here. Either they scouted it out, saw it was a trap, and left. Only one pair, though. The Imperials to their fate, or they're involved. Probably a ranger. Only one pair. Well, yeah. uh, I can only see one. There might have been more, but you know how light on their feet they are. Rolling, Kyler. With an eight, you're unsure. It's one of two things to you. Either one of the rangers, or because of the way that those elves wear their armor, they could have been one of the armored as well. You cannot discern either or. Well, at least one track. So it could be more, but like I said, you know how they are. Furthermore, I went deeper into the forest there to see if our mercenary friends are still there, and they are. They are acting like nothing's happened. I don't know how they didn't hear the Night Killers, but they mm -hmm. seem fine, and they definitely weren't involved with any attack. So... Are you sure? I, yeah, definitely. How? How what? <coughs> how are you sure? Well, their blades are clean, they're not in armor. You can still smell the Night Killer rounds here. It only happened not long ago. They haven't I had see. time to clean up. No way. If they were involved in this. That's Let's all I got. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Vezian, I'll leave this to you to tell, to see him about. <laughs> Wonderful. Best of, is, I love being the one that bears the bad news. way, it's best if we keep moving. Do you, do you want me to? If you want me to. No, he'll see this as good news. What conclusion did you come to, Vezian? I'd also suggest maybe we don't traverse the road in case they. Certain group meets us along the way. Certain well, group. The robber baron wasn't bluffing. So that man was a major. You think so? Anything? I would imagine that. But if he you told me. Where he's at. He caught wind of this meeting. I don't know how. I don't know Either the elves are working with him, or he's got an informant in the embassy. Someone that even the major didn't expect. The major is dead. He means off to your right. Screaming? They're screaming. Great. We should shut from the road. Somebody kind of wait, wait, uh, wait, they, no, like wait, the wait, the woods to told me something. Down? Hold on. Somebody's leaving Ishma. Oh, Somebody I know. <laughs> what? Off the right is about? the road. Somebody Vez Vezrin. Somebody's coming from Ishma that we know. I don't know who it is, but there's someone who's close. Oh, oh. What? Okay. Oh no. Come down and stops his feet on the 
Care for reinforcements. They came from there last time. Motherfucker. You look at the bodies, butchered and torn. Oh, Christ. Ground around them. Check them for any identification. Desperate souls. You look around on them. You don't really see much. You see a few simple odds and ends for traveling, if anything, and you see a bag in the distance that catches your eye just over there. As you look, it looks like a set of goods. Yeah. Probably not, well, not much, though. It looks like it's been ruined by the attack. It looks like traveling goods for merchants. They must have been extremely desperate to try to trudge the trails. You would be aware that no one has been trying to travel at this time until the orcs have been ha handled. No clear. Seems they were just a little too desperate. And a little unlucky. Shariq? Yep. Hey, good to see you. Lingering around isn't the best idea. I was just trying to identify them. Just merchants. A gray-haired old man with a an elf coming back from Ishmael. What? They're coming this way. Venora, we should. Fuck. Yeah, I hate to say this, but this way, maybe some of us should back. come back. <laughs> Go back and... I'm staying back. I know who it is. You guys go ahead. Venora, go ahead. Get back to the city. What do you mean you know who it is? I know who it is. You've got to get back to the city and stay safe, okay? Okay. Alright, as long as you know who they are. Yep. I'll catch up with you guys. I'll stay low. Don't worry. Wait, sir, do you don't want back up? No, it should be okay. Oh, well, you're, looks well, like you're, you're getting, getting back up anyway. <sighs> Go get them. <clears throat> you good, Vesrin? I'm back and I'm collecting the ears of these orcs. I'm impression. getting these ears, so we have a fucking alibi. Makes sense. <sighs> Alright. Go ahead, get back to town. Are you going back to see who it is? I know who it is. I'll wait for them here. Who? I'll tell you later. Okay. Make sure Venora gets out. back into the town. Oh, fuck. There's a rider. I'll go. What was the head ranger's name? Starts with an M. M, -m, -m, -m Mateo. Is there something we can do for you? <sighs> no. Um, we came across some orcs here. We oh. don't have time to stop and talk to every random person we see on the road. Let us go. Wait. Just a moment. I recognize you. The armor you helped with the orc mission. What brings you so far from notice? I uh, came checking out something. Apparently there's been orc attacks on the road here. As you can see by the corpses here. 
Then I would advise you not to be out here by yourself. No, it's fine. There could be more. I'm heading to uh, Corsetto anyway. Smart boy. Hmm. Very well. Be safe on the road. Ride safe. Watch out for orcs. The warning is appreciated. Let us go. Yeah, Kylo picked up immediately that Aunt didn't publicly recognize him, so he's like, oh, okay. Bring up that. I'm sure he will.
Why was I out there in the first place? He knows. <clears throat> Kylan knows. Somebody in the tavern. The tavern ended up overhearing it, feeding it to a mem. A mem got it to the Imperials. The Imperials <sighs> hate us. Great. Fucking great. Do you think people would learn to keep all? Like, I suppose he wasn't there for either of those instances, so maybe this is his way he of wasn't. learning. Keep your fucking mouth shut at a tavern. <sighs> Great. Trying to okay. get him up to date because he is about as much in danger as the rest of us, and as clueless as anyone else. Yeah, a lot of shit going on right now. I don't now. know why, but there seems to be this stigma that the less I know, the safer I am. That's not the fucking case. Not anymore, no. <laughs> is Vesrin close behind you? I thought he went with you. He chased after you. So he's still back there. You would. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. sake. Sorry, I was taking a. If you want a quick talk about whatever is actually going on, hopefully without any ears. You can go ahead and step inside of the water mill. We have walls now. Where are the others? Probably for the best. They're gathering herbs. Most likely they're going to gather up with us inside of the mill. Is everything alright with the old man? Lies. Hmm. I don't know. Might have been mistaken. Mistaken about what? Who they are. Uh, I see. Fair enough. This is your meal, is it? Partly. Welcome Mine and Markle's. Oh, and Tang is a vagrant that we put up with. <laughs> Plan on it. Cute. Cozy. <laughs> Stomp, stomp, I'm a natural stomp, 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 Oh, oh, why are you, why are you being so mean to the what grass? What? No, I'm just, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I step on something important? You know, you got like some explaining to do, young man. Me? <clears throat> What, what, is, what is your father doing over at Ishma border, behind its walls? Beats me. I see. Look, I don't know... You don't see her angry quite often. She's angry about that. When I asked him about it before, it was pretty big, okay? I don't want to just throw information out there that's gonna... Make him seem like a bad well, person a yet, liar. right? You can appear to be natural as a lot of things. Yay! Just be careful, Woody. <laughs> Look, when I tried to engage with him, he acted like I wasn't there. So he clearly doesn't want, you know, anyone involved. Especially if the rangers are around, I suppose. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm sure he would have talked to me, but... I also don't want those who are getting the wrong idea. 
You know that uh, the leather straps that are running the stuff are secure. Definitely don't want. Just like I don't want the wrong idea. Right. I don't want people to think that Arn's going behind I... Arn's back or anything, because you know him. I rather deal with. I rather deal with the elves and the Imperials. We don't know what he's doing. But you agitate her long, so we should probably not be. We just have to trust him. He's never led us astray this far, right? Right. No, no. Trust me, I, I understand that. The only, the only elf I'm ever, I'm not worried about the Rangers. The Rangers have been kind to me in the forest. Which is why I was. The one I'm worried about. Well, his life is in as much danger as ours. All right. Okay. But everything about what? What did you tell Kate? I huh? didn't. She's I haven't up there told telling him everything. Uh oh. He's Pop going to flab. Fuck. <clears throat> well, him. shut you him down then. Started. Yeah, go stop him. Did Tang receive look, all of the look, death the threats only from one, the only, uh, Who? Oh, the only yeah. one I'm worried about... The... Kazim? What? Shriek. Never mind, continue conversation. <sighs> Shriek. Shriek. The only one I'm worried about is the one that he's worried about and that I'm worried about that can we feel something strange about him. I know. Look, let's not jump the to others, anything, right? Can... You gotta trust him. I'm just hoping what I did for Ishma will keep them to keep their distance. It's not every day they receive an ever apple. Hopefully, their temple, Ashar Shari, accepted it. So far, they haven't returned. Well. What did you do? Oh, we, um, tickled something magical behind their borders, and it gave me a good, uh. gave me and my mother a good spanking. We'll put it that way. Uh. Oh. <sighs> tickled matcha, okay. Yeah. By the way, There's he's not telling him about um, oh. um, what we just encountered, just about the blood and everything else. Oh, oh. okay. You know the. Did he start talking about civil unrest yes. and things that he's been missing? And I said, "Oh, I'm leaving." Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, we do need the blood. Hmm. I've heard what blood. You sampled it, what right? Blood? Did you get the results? Oh yeah, she was reading the results. I hadn't. I wasn't the one that tested it. Cause I figured I would get. Uh, are you fine with me announcing this, or do you want to hear that in more confidence? I can walk away. Tyler, you feel your shoulder poked from behind. Yeah, I guess I just. You know how it is. I have something for you. I think you're gonna like it. You can have it now, or when we get back out of the woods. Okay, yeah. She seems indifferent. Later. I want you to enjoy it properly. Okay? Trust me.
goes there for the first time. Hey. Where the hell is your bag? I've known it since the night before yesterday. Is it unlocked? Minor DM note for Kyler. A little tick you've noticed with Lisa. Whenever a lot of people start to congregate around her, her hand instinctively moves to shield where her uh, a dagger, her sister's dagger, you know is hidden. She does this every time, seemingly without thinking about it. Or the day after. Uh, you good? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's not fine. Uh, What's going on? She's free to speak for herself. Taught you? I thought I uh, wasn't going to be in the internalness of the blood. So that is why I, <laughs> I was going to ask you to test me again, just in case he's now because of thing. And then I was going to be like, haha. But now that, you know, it is a thing now, it's like, um, mm. how bad is it supposed to be getting? I, what are you talking about? <sighs> Allow me. I might guess if anything, it's best you hear this as well. She's infected. Her blood is darker than that of any normal blood. Tony. Infected, infected with shroom lung, or...? Not as bad as what I've seen so far. Her blood is not identical to that of Soma, but it's starting to change. And what about the others? Hers? Is it just hers? I've only other, I've only other tasted, uh, tested basil. If you all want me to test each and every single one of you, you're going to have to provide me the vials. Basil, yeah, still have surprisingly smell. enough, is not. Which... How I tested it? three times that night. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, I was totally I infected and not basil. Have... The fuck does that mean? I wish I could tell you. I but did the exact also, same process she, she, to the T as Elen told me. She's also drow. Maybe if I study your blood, and if it's in comparison to you are... Actually, yeah. Term, you can, like she yes. is. Compare her, yeah. Compare yeah. her to mine and, and see what comes of it. But were you treated? Oh, if it, if it, have them give a vial to me. Was I what, what? Yeah, they were treated too. Were now, you treated the before? Vial back at the, they gave me uh, need a vial the elixir the we get back. in the early days. Yeah, yeah, it's it's at the shop. We already got it. It's at the shop. Wouldn't that make, make a difference? I took it. Hmm? We had we other people take the elixir, and <laughs> when they died, they what? Their? You know. No. No. An I elixir. thought it was she is established a, that uh, it was oh, only a. I have to make. I have to make it. Yeah, I have to make it. Have well, to it only it. treated the symptoms. Case would oh wait. If she's been if she's been uh. coughing, maybe that's why she's coughing then. That's what I told her. She is infected. She hasn't had the elixir. Oh gosh, though. I thought you okay. Okay, no, so sorry. Give Seems it to there her was a bit of miscommunication. Will... Oh. Yes. Okay. You might want to get that to her quick before she infects other okay. people that haven't had the elixir yet, like everyone else in town. If she is infected. Should we keep her outside? My concern of town? is everyone. As long as she keeps her mask covered where she's not do you have an elixir for her then just come i i well, let me look real quick what i needed left for it uh, how many of you I have drinking the elixir uh, i don't know i believe most of us that were there need a list you'd have to ask them as I you had got it blood. before we ever got even infected i just took it to take it to be safe because me and mother weren't infected at the time when we first learned about Smother, the you did. Uh, elixir, because we kept ourselves covered because we were constantly working on, you know, people who were sick, so we kept ourselves covered from spores and stuff. Um, let me see here. Hornwood. Because if you found out that she's infected and she's suddenly coughing a lot, I feel like that's something we should get on top of.
Okay. Nobody was infected. The blood's not as bad as I saw Soma's, but it's what not you do to good. Me? Oh, he's back. <gasps> he's alive. I'm so happy. Right. He's the back. sun returns. I the... Ugh. You know, Miss. Well, here I'll give her good news. Well, what you? I told her that there's an Alexa. I told her there's an Alexa. You. No, no. <sighs> She's. Never mind. Just. She doesn't change. Just the moment she hears something, I must tell them. If she's coughing and we found that's out she's infected, a that's good... a pretty red flag to me. I it means... We should be keeping her, or we should either so give her an elixir. Night, I... We go... But it's not good. Oh! <gasps> He's alive! I'm so happy! He's... Like I said, I tested it last night. I was. Fucking fuck! <laughs> Uh oh. We need to keep her away from people that haven't had the elixir yet or give her the elixir. Gotcha. I'm glad you're of, of our mind. Perfect. Good shit. We agree wholeheartedly. Also, don't feel bad. I'm jittering like shit this session and it hurts like, and it's a bitch. I don't know why. Let's uh, figure this out. I'm gonna get back to town. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Yes. Go back and make her that elixir. She's covered her. You'll see she has cloth over her face now. She's got it covered. So let's get her to the apothecary and we can make her an elixir. Okay. Yeah, right yes. Just tell me. Go on. It's all going to be fine and I'm not going to end up like some. Thank you, Tang. You already know what you need to do, and you know what to do to keep everyone else safe. Best the people are up to date if I'm going to be taking their blood. What is he going to be doing? He's trying to make sure that people aren't getting killed because of old grudges. So... He might already be telling people, or at least the people that need to know, but Shariq... If you have any plans of going out and killing a noble slave... I would suggest that you have no need, reason to right now. I don't know where you can get an idea of that from. It's because of your father. It's his... I have a sneaking suspicion that he might ask you. Because of my father? Yes. This rests on... The one that you and I both know. <laughs> this rests on Tadim, does it? No. His grudge might carry over to yours. After all, familial bonds, even ones not made of blood, are a lot stronger than most other things. His grudge is the reason he was nearly killed, remember? His grudge is the reason why the forge burnt down. And his grudge got away scot-free. Aware. Shriek. Uh, your wife, the, did she ever take that, um, antidote? <clears throat> we weren't married, first of all. Sorry. And I don't know. She was from Adwick, remember? Right, but she never got sick. No. I don't think it matters anymore anyway, if I'm honest. Well, it does matter. No. It's the difference between us being contagious and not. It doesn't matter, Ezrin. What do you mean? If 
few weeks ago, she left to go back to Adwick, to return to Arrowland. She felt guilty. A couple days later, she appears on the uh, note of people that they're hunting for. Deserters. And the last deserter they found, they killed. I don't think it's a problem, Vezrin. I wasn't saying I Sorry, sorry. Marcus. That's what's easy for me. Sounds like pretty good. The door opens. Oh. Everything okay? She looks... a little tense. Inquisitive. Something's on her mind. Sir? You've already what? learned the anvil, correct? You know how to make weapons. I do. So what do you need? Mm. What are your What are your materials right now? What kind of a? Uh... <clears throat> well, it's rather. Wolf grabbed what are you capable of right now? And a whetstone. Material-wise, iron's pretty easy. Uh, we could do steel, but it would be at uh, a bit more of a, an effort to it. It's a good weapon. Takes a bit more effort, anyways. That's true. What are you thinking? You told you needed me, Aegon. Well, you're both here now. I'm just bringing a weapons order, is all. Very well. Then that's handled. Let's so see here. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Just business, more than anything. Just the faint say... sound of crude sharpening behind you. That was for Kaya. I was. Uh, that was for Shuri. Continue. Okay. I'd like to believe there's wet stoning behind me too. But anyway, put it in an order for a steel straight sword, would you? That would not make it too long. Just a one-handed. Well, give it a decent hilt, but yes, that is mostly the point. That would be uh, ten silver. Mm. How much more for a larger one? How much is a great sword, steel? 
<coughs> well, a standard two-handed sword would be 50 in silver. 50 15. or 15? One five. But if you want to pay 50, I won't I deny. To say. Uh, well, you haven't earned your allowance yet. We'll see about that. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, I just looked on it for today. All of the wood is stacked oh, against the defense. Okay, I'll start uh, thinking. Unless I removed it. Oh. And how much would it cost for you to take? I'll, uh, uh, I'll head out there and start. Well, once I have that blade. Uh, thank you. Okay. I'll have to figure that out. Was, it, was there any wood you needed to offload? Any, any wood burning a hole in your pocket? Hold on, I'm trying to think here. Uh, I just collected. I just came into mm. that'd be 25 for both. Uh, five of them. Uh, hmm. All right. If I asked you to make a steel great sword and a steel straight sword, it would be 25 in total, correct? And how long would that take? Well, if it's for five, I think that's, uh... Five days? We don't really have the iron for both, though, right now. In fact, we'd be oh, pushing it bad. with the two-handed sword. <laughs> All right, let's stick with the straight sword, power. then. Steel. Yeah. Ten yeah, silver, you said? I'm rested, thank you. Correct. Also, probably later today... Uh, Two-one-handed <clears throat> steel sword. Um, uh, ten silver, yes. And that would take two days. <clears throat> Mm. Including today. Sure. If I get started on it. Something with the bathhouse workers, but if you want, uh, I would be delighted if you did. Yeah, I'll pay it up front. I Thank trust you. you'll get it done. Yeah. I'll add it to the uh, the mm. list here. Yeah. A lot of things on my mind still need to be. Uh, mm. you, know, so you, you know how my work goes. The sooner right. the better. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies. Actually. Yeah. Sure. Shrek, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Once I get my hands on that blade, would you have, would you be able to melt down my greatsword in ore and contribute that to its reforging into steel? Would that be able to help? It would. Um. But uh, probably it's still be pushing it, wouldn't it? It would. It's. I will say it's not very cost effective, but. It does help, yes. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Straight sword for now, though. You got it. A man can't have too many blades, you know. Mm -hmm. You understand. I got a request for you as well, Shriek. Give me a second. Of course. Just the sharpening. Uh, is that steel or iron? Steel. That would be uh, 30 copper. Though, I will ask you to pay You're 15. Not me again. No, I will ask you to pay 15 and I'll have Severick do it instead of me. How does that sound? I would rather you did it. Okay. About 20 then, just for no you. No offense to Severick, I just... Alright, that'll work. No offense to you, Severick, I just don't want the blade ruined. That's fine, I have been practicing though. I mean, I've been practicing on my own. This thing's sharp enough. <clears throat> I tested it on some paper. I can do that for you now if you want. Sure, please. Oh, <laughs> I'll get out of your way. Those one didn't happen to pass by here, did he? Try Venora's shop if you haven't already. Shriek, I've been doing a lot of carving recently with uh, some of the foliage that uh, Marcus has cut down, so we have a lot of wood shavings to help start the foliage. Very good. Where's your coin purse? Oh. There you go. Thank you. That's your 
Yes. Of course. Smithy. Hi. Are you on a rush order or is this something I can interrupt? Have a job. I'm nearly done. What do you need? Need both both you smithies to do a job for us. Go on. Ella's got the details. I'm just the messenger. Okay. This is done anyway. You said both smithies? Hmm. I don't know if Tazim's uh, around right now. But I can get the details at least. No! Where'd it go? The stick! Lead the way. Alright. Brought one of them here. Hmm. Well, I should probably head on out here then. Please take a seat. Yes. Sure. You've been doing well enough. <sighs> been a busy day. How can I help? Unfortunately, it is going to be a bit more busy again. I'm willing to do a bit of... I'm calling on part of our favor. Mm -hmm. You get this done, and we can certainly get these start... Shall we say, a considerable amount of your debt. I'm listening. About four days ago... A man by the name of Mr. Ortega came in, and he rented a cart from us. So, again, he was wanting to bring back goods from the free world. So it should take you along the road by Cross Keys Inn, I believe. Mm -hmm. But along that pathway is where he was journeying. Now the thing is, he's worked with us in the past, so it is odd that he has not returned. So, we are hiring you to find him, but also find our cart. Okay. Because we are the cart, so it's good. Right. So, what we do know is that he went north. Towards the cross keys and whatnot, so perhaps someone at cross keys would have seen him. But I'm not overly positive, so you'll have to stop there to find it. And there is only one wagon. That was um, rented, so I'm going to lend you a horse. Because it is at this point in time that if anything has happened, the horse was either freed or killed. Hmm, okay. And that means that you're going to need some way to bring it back. So, I'm going to send you out with the horse. Okay. So, 
in, in case you need to identify Mr. Ortega, you'll notice him by having uh, mutton chops and a mustache, and he's wearing an eye patch. Over, I can't remember which eye, but he is. He honestly he looks kind of like he's up to something, so. Yeah, I know the type. Ortega, you said his name was? Ortega. Ortega. Or. Yes. Okay. All we need is the cost back, really. We prefer to have Ortega, but... I understand. Um, yeah, we I'll... We take what we can get. I'll let uh, Tizim know and I'll try and get him on board. I can uh, <laughs> set off as soon as possible. Yes, it would be best to do so. Very good. And reminder, doing this comes towards the dead. Yes. I'll uh, let you know what we find. The stable hands know that the smiths are coming to pick up one of the horses. Understood. Thank you. Hmm. Good luck. In my stead, that would relinquish me of my duties to my kin. They would follow my son, and he in turn would serve with yours. That would free me of any remaining burden or ties to my countrymen, to my country, and to my king. I would walk the path of a reckoner in totality. That is something that we can think about. I do not know if we should relinquish your hold so quickly, but I will make you this blade. I thank you. When the time comes, we will sit down and converse about future plans for our sons. You've heard my words, lad. And I'm with you until the day these old bones finally stop. Well, that's still far At off, and we have much planning to do. At some point, you and I need to get ourselves a chance to simply sit and drink and talk. One night. Before things get worse, I agree. Bye. Thank you, Warden. I'll leave you and your son to talk. <laughs> uh, look, about early, I didn't mean to put anything in jeopardy you were working on by being there. I apologize. It's all right. Hmm. Um, the others are getting a little wiggy about it, though. I've been trying to calm them down and dismiss it. Just figured I'd let you know. About what? About you going to Ejma. And how do they know? After I returned to the group, they said, What's your father doing in Ejma? So, I don't know how they knew. I didn't tell them. So someone is spying on me then. I had but wondered if that was the case. They were on the road on the way back to Nortis. I'm surprised you... Did you not see them? They have no reason to think that I was coming from Ejma Thalaz. Um, I no reason to suspect that at all. No, Faye, something in her head was telling her that someone she knew was coming from Ishmithalos. You know how she speaks to the... She told everyone. I guess so. I don't think it was necessarily you, but she said that someone she knew was coming from Ishmithalos. I certainly didn't tell them. It was described to her as a older, grey-haired man, apparently, so... 
I don't know, maybe they can put two and two together. Like I said, I tried to demit, dismiss as much as possible, but you know how inquisitive they are. After all that I've done. I know. And the secrets that I have kept. I know. And have never been the source of the leaks around us. They have the gall. I told them as much. I said, you've never led us astray thus far. Why would he do it now? Trust him. But, I don't know. Because the people around us have never trusted us. I'm starting to learn that. On to uh, more <coughs> current matters. The Carter's Guild just got into contact with me about uh, repaying some of our debt. A uh, small job, if you will. Great. What do they want? A cart was rented from them about four days ago uh, by a man, and he was heading to the Free Wharf. Took the road north. He hasn't been back in the time that they suspected he would be, so we're just going to go up there to see if we can find him and or the cart. They're offering to uh, rent us a horse for free just for this mission, in case the horse is dead, in which case we can take the cart back. I can't ride. One horse? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, you can ride, bitch, if you want. On the back, I, I can't ride by myself, so I'd have to. I have to teach you how to ride a fucking horse. <laughs> they I need more bloody silver so I can buy you one. They're big, scary creatures. Take your time. Something scary about them. I saw a man in Corocatus who got kicked by a horse as a baby and his head was like... They are beasts of burden. That are able to serve man, elf, dwarf, whatever it may be. There's a bond there. But we'll talk about that later. Is there something we need to do now? Uh, at our earliest convenience. Well, we're both here, so... They said it would pay off a considerable amount of our debt. So... Fucking Christ. Very well. I'll meet you at the Carter's Guild. I'll be there in a second. Uh, we could meet by the stables. That's where they said to go. Stables it is. See you there. Yeah. Sarik. Yeah. Kyla. Make sure none of our friends are spying on us. Hmm. Pay close attention to Vezrin, then. I think he tried to follow me. Follow you where? Well, when I put two and two together that it was you coming from Ejmithalos, because you told me about it earlier, I decided to hang back to warn you about those orcs. I told everyone to go ahead and get back to the city. Vezrin, last I heard, went with them. But on coming back, Tang was like, did Vezrin catch up to you? When, I, when he asked me, is everything okay with the old man? I said, ah, I think I was mistaken about the identity. And he goes, right. Out of everything that I have covered for him, and forgiven him for. Yeah, well. Maybe it was a mistake. The elves are a touchy subject for a lot of our friends. I'm sure they're just worried, but baseless worried, I'm sure. Yes, and I'm sure they've all forgotten about the Imperials. I will take elves over these Imperials who want us all dead any day. I do worry about my standings with the elves, but I trust your judgment. I know you wouldn't let anything happen I to me. I spoke to them. I would not. I spoke to Marcello, the ranger who was with me. I know the one. 
They're actually going to be looking to speak to you and Serovith. About the orcs? They realize that you are far quieter than they can be. And they want to enlist your assistance. I have asked them to bear this in mind. Okay, if you think so we can trust them. rendered all that. Trust no one but us, my son. You know what I mean, though. They're not gonna, you know, lead me into a ditch and shoot me in the back of the head or something. You always carry yourself with dignity and respect. You speak to people with a smile on your face and a tear in your eye, but always have a plan to kill everyone in the room. Well, that is what I'm good at. Always. Good. Heard we're building a stable. Yes. I need to speak to a member of Dodd. Oh. <clears throat> need to talk to him before we actually start the construction. I see. That could be a good way to get his passive money. Charge for housing and board. Yes. How are you doing? I go around every morning. Greeting. Usually you'll find it under your door. Well, oh, very well, don't mind me. I have to go and Thanks. see a few more doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good to see him. Sharik. Are you heading yeah. out of town for the Carter's Guild? Missives! Oh. Do you need any assistance? Not that I know of, not for this. Just bring him back a cart. That's it. Sure. 20 minutes in an hour. Hey. Should be alright. Hey, you had to Mrs. curse me, didn't you? Mail. <laughs> of course. Uh, Alright, well. I'll be seeing you. I'll be back Shh. soon. Oh! Just to let you both know, um, it's my birthday in three days, and I want to have a private little thing for us. Uh, probably a at the old coastal lounge. So in about three days. We will, we will see what we can make of it, said Brooke. You like missing a nice honey mead. <laughs> yeah, of course. Good. We'll make it a good night. There's two horses in this one. As I've noticed. Well, this works. And ironically, because the seat needed is in front. Uh. You can play space yourself to be on the back. So I just kind of pull myself up and... Right? Sit on the back, yes. Okay. <sighs> oh god, okay. You can turn your OSC on and then off, and then play space behind me. Oh god, where the fuck do I do that? <laughs> well, you don't do that. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> Would you like some help to find OSC, Lupus? <laughs> Please. I can never never get these fucking menus. Okay. When, sure, sure. Once you're on the seat, I'll guide you through it. Okay. Okay. So open up your 3.0 menu to just where like tools, expressions, emojis, right? Uh -huh. Like the base menu. Go to options, the top one. Oh, I see it. You'll yeah. see OSC like there, open that up and then just quickly toggle enabled and disabled. Your avatar will 
reset, and then you'll be able to move around in your chair. Good. So you'll have to... No. Good. All right. Yeah. Like this? Oh my god. So you'll have to... Well, that's fucky. There you go. And just sit true? down, and then... Get yourself situated, and then you'll be good. <laughs> I'm side settling. Fuck it. Let's go. The you're going to have to give me directions. Where are we going? North, uh, to the cross keys. We can go there and ask for this person. Okay. Uh, doubt that they've seen them, All but right. here it might be worth something. Very well. Get myself ready. Now, here's a question. Is there anything I need to expect? They didn't say anything. Tariq, they never do. No. Well, fuck, the guy usually comes back, so... There's probably a reason he hasn't. Stay safe. We will try. I feel so tall. You are. When you're riding a horse, ow, ow, everything is in ow. your waist and your thighs. You gotta, like, rock, You'll right? bounce a bit. Yes, you move your body with the movements. Think of it as... I'm sure you spent some nights with Liliana, yes? Yes. The hip movements are very similar. When the horse steps forward, you rock your waist forward. You match the movement of the horse, you dip with its back. It stops you from bouncing. Oh, you're right. Exactly. Well, that's handy. The control of the horse is in your thighs. The more pressure you apply to one side, it will turn in that direction. The heels can do the same. What about the ropey thing at the, the front? The reins... The reins is what these are. I see. If I pull along the right, they'll start to turn to the right. Uh. If I pull to the left, uh. they'll turn to the left. Okay. If I pull back completely, whoa, whoa. they'll stop. <laughs> Keep a hand on my belt. Yeah, okay. We'll get you some practice for it. Please. <laughs> I will, uh, see if I can get a rope or a lead line, and I'll rent a horse, and teach you how to ride. You'll be able to get on it, but I'll have it on a lead line so you can go in circles around me, but I can control the horse if I need to. Okay, that's a good way of learning. <laughs> Is it? I would hope so, because that way if the horse decides to, like, run off somewhere, you won't let it, right? You sure that I could stop this horse from bolting? I, I, I have to believe that you can. I'm sure you'll be fine, my son. I have to believe that you can I'm do sure that. Oh fuck! <laughs> what kind of horse is this I one? I won't let it run off with you. This horse in particular is a stallion. That's like a dude horse, right? <laughs> 